Hello everyone, I am Dr. Harish Chandra. Today I will talk about Laplace transformation. Laplace transformation has many applications in various engineering branches. We can solve ordinary differential equations, partial differential equations with the help of Laplace transformation. So I am starting with its definition. Okay. Let Suppose that we have some function ft that is from 0 to infinity to r. Let ft be this function, then the Laplace of ft is equal to the improper integral 0 to infinity e to minus st ft dt. So, we are integrating with respect to t, hence there is a parameter s which can be real or complex. So our output will be in terms of s. So we will denote this by some small function of s. So the Laplace of the function f t is equal to 0 to infinity e to power minus s t f t dt where my t will be greater than or equal to 0 and the output will be in terms of s where s is the parameter which can be real or complex and so it is equal to f of s so now the existence of laplace depends upon the existence of this improper integral if the inter improper integral converges then we will say that the laplace of the function exists if it does not converge then we will say that its laplace does not converge laplace does not exist so there are some sufficient conditions for the existence of this Laplace transformation and we can also define inverse Laplace transform as if you write it as L inverse of fs is equal to ft then we will say that the inverse Laplace transformation of fs is equal to the function ft when my t is greater than equal to 0 so sufficient condition for existence of Laplace transform there are two conditions first one <coughs> the function ft has to be piecewise continuous in so every sub interval say t from 0 to some at some other point so the function ft has to be piecewise continuous or we can say sectionally continuous in every sub interval of this whole interval and the points at, at which we will have discontinuity are known as jump discontinuity so the function has to be sectionally continuous and the second point is that ft should be of exponential order the function has to be of exponential order that means that means modulus of ft should be less than or equal to m e for alpha t where alpha is some positive quantity is known as is known as exponential order of ft and m is another positive constant so if these two conditions holds then we will say that ft the laplace of ft will surely converge but remember these are not necessary conditions these are sufficient conditions we have some example in the first example suppose that ft equal to e to power t oh, okay just before that now what is the meaning of this condition mod of ft has to be less than or equal to m e to power alpha t we can also write it as 
limit t tends to infinity and uh, ft e to power minus alpha t should tend zero when your t tends to infinity. So this has to be your finite. If this is finite, and that should be for s greater than alpha. If it is true, then we will say that function f t has exponential order alpha. Now I will give some example related to exponential order. Suppose that there is the first example. Suppose that f t equal to e to power t. Then limit t tends to infinity e to power t e to power minus alpha t is equal to or you can write it as t to power n e to power t is quite easy so if we write t to power n then this will be your limit t tends to infinity e to power n e to power alpha t so this will be your infinite upon infinite as n is greater than 0 we have assumed that n is greater than 0 so on differentiating on using the L hospital rule this will become your factorial limit t tends to 0 t tends to infinity after n time differences of this one we will have factorial n and in the denominator we will have alpha power n e to power alpha t so on putting L t tends to 0 t tends to infinity this will become e to power infinity which is infinity and 1 upon infinity is 0 so this quantity is finite so as t tends to infinity t to power n into e to power minus alpha t is 0 so we will say that ft is of exponential order similarly if ft is equal to cos a t sin a t e to power t and other trigonometric function then where Laplace exists then Laplace of ft will exist because these are continuous as well as expo of exponential order here we have another example if ft equal to e to power t square let us see what, what happened then coming to this limit limit t tends to infinity f t e to power minus l for t is equal to e to power t square e to power minus l for t we can combine these power so this is equal to limit t tends to infinity e to power t and then t minus alpha so now as t tends to infinity this will be your always infinite because this will be your e to power infinite so this will tends to infinity so as this limit is not finite so we will say that here ft equal to e to power t square is not of exponential order But please remember that these are the sufficient conditions. But it is not necessary that if it is not of exponential order, then maybe it is Laplace transform exists. Because if these two conditions hold, then you will say that surely the Laplace will exist. But these are not, not necessary. It can happen that they are not of exponential order, but their Laplace transform can exist. So these are the just sufficient condition but not a necessary condition for that i have example say ft equal to 1 upon root t suppose that ft equal to 1 upon root t now you can see that here the function is not continuous or you can say it's or piecewise continuous here ft is not piecewise continuous Hence, as ft is not piecewise continuous, but you will see that its Laplace will exist. But Laplace of ft equal to 
limit Laplace of ft equal to 0 to infinity e to power minus st ft dt where my ft is 1 by root 2 so this is equal to 0 to infinity e to power minus st you can write it as t to power half minus 1 dt so on using the definition of gamma function this will be your gamma n divided by s to power n plus 1 because we have the definition because gamma n upon k to power n is equal to 0 to infinity e to power minus k x x to power n minus 1 dx so using this definition of gamma function we have this result and you know that gamma half is root pi so this is your root pi divided by and there is this will be your t to power minus half and minus half can be written as so this is your power gamma n plus 1 upon s to power n plus 1 and sorry this is your s to power n so this will be your s to power half so this is equal to root pi upon root s so this is your answer so you can see that here function is not piecewise continuous although its Laplace transform exists that means the function, the sufficient conditions for the sufficient condition, the function has to be sectionally continuous and piecewise or piecewise continuous and it should be of exponential order but these are not necessary condition and here is the example here we can see that the function is not piecewise, piecewise continuous although its Laplace transform exists now again Note that Laplace of ft exists if the sufficient condition holds. Although, if the sufficient condition holds, surely the Laplace of ft will exist. Now, what do it means? Now, Laplace of ft is equal to 0 to infinity e power minus st ft dt now I just want to say that mathematically I want to prove that its Laplace exists so for that I will prove that this, the value of this integral is finite if the sufficient condition holds then we will prove that the Laplace of this function is finite that means the value of this integral is finite so let us evaluate the modulus of this function we know that the modulus of the integral is always less than or equal to modulus of the function than integral now as the function is as the subsequent conditions are there that means the function is of exponential order so mod of ft I am writing this term is equal to e for minus st modulus f to dt so h function is of exponential order so this will be less than equal to e to the power minus st m times e to the power alpha t so this term is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus s minus l for t so on integrating if you integrate this one so then it will be your 1 upon s minus l for 1 upon minus 1 upon s minus l for e to the power minus s minus l for t then limits are from 0 to infinity so in the upper limit this will be your e to the power minus infinity so e to the power minus infinity is 0 but this will be remain this will remain negative if your s is greater than alpha so we will assume that s is greater than alpha whenever your s is greater than alpha only then this limit will remain negative so the value is equal to m times the upper limit will be 0 and then in the negative limit we will have minus 1 so minus minus is plus so this is your m upon s minus alpha whenever your s is greater than alpha now you can see that therefore modulus of e to power minus st ft dt is less than equal to m of s minus alpha now l is finite quantity s is a parameter 
alpha is finite quantity so that means the value of this integer is finite the modulus the value of the modulus of this integer is finite so we will say that 0 to infinity if a minus st ft dt is finite if it is finite then laplace of ft exists Balancing property So if ft with a function from 0 to from this interval to the real number and ft is of is sectionally continuous or piecewise continuous and of exponential order then your small fs will tend to zero as s tends to infinity because your definition was laplace of ft is equal to zero to infinity e to the minus st ft dt and this was your f of s now if the function is sectionally continuous and of exponential order then obviously this term this integral will exist and now as s tends to infinity this will become your zero so now i have some example where for example fs equal to e to the s upon s second fs equal to s square now here you can see that fs does not tends to zero as s tends to infinity so that means you can write it as the in the definition of e to power x is 1 plus x plus x square from factorial to and so on so you can see that fs does, does not tends to 0 as s tends to infinity hence these fs cannot be laplace transform of any ft that means there does not exist any ft for which the laplace transform is equal to e to the power s upon s and s square 